Well, hello everybody, it's Joy Packard. It has been a minute since I have been on here and I am excited to be here with you. <clears throat> it's about 9.45 at night. I'm in Mexico right now, but I thought I would just get on here and say hi. I've been uh, just traveling so much. I haven't been able to been, be on here and uh, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, the experiences that I've had and and the things that I've been doing and I think since like what March or April I was in Mexico and then I I headed to uh, California for the whole month of May and I was in California I was visiting my son and helping with the, the two grandkids out there and and then I headed to um, New Orleans and then I got back and had to go to Utah for a wedding and so hi Melissa so, and then I got back from the wedding and then I ended up coming, packing and repacking and coming to Mexico. So I'm here and uh, I'm able to, you know, finally get some relaxing in. It's just, it's just been so, so crazy. Hi, Mary, how are you? And it's so good to be here with all of you. I've been thinking a lot about all of you guys and, you know, miss doing some videos for you and just sharing with you some, you know, some of the things that I've been up to. I'm, like I said, I'm here in Mexico and I've really been thinking about, you know, my retreats. Uh, you know, I was supposed to have my first one in 2020 and then I basically, um, I couldn't because, you know, it shut down and then anyway, and then time went on and then, you know, my son graduated. I don't know. It's just, I'm looking back at these whole, this whole last year or two and, you know, it's been crazy and, but I've been thinking a lot about, you know, um, how, you know, I basically become an empty nester and it's just been crazy. You know, like I thought it would slow down and it just seems to speed up. <laughs> I have two grandkids that are due and the next month, one of them is due anytime now in the next two weeks. And then the second one is due at the beginning of August. So we're going to have like 17 grandkids. And so, you know, life does not get slower <laughs> when you're empty nesting it gets faster so I have been working a lot on you know a lot of personal development stuff that I've been working on I've been working a lot on you know trying to think about like I say um my retreats and such but it's just it's literally been uh fast-paced <laughs> for the last three months and I think in the next month or two it's going to get a little slower hopefully and I'm still doing you know my e-commerce stuff I'm still doing you know a lot of the things that I've been doing but just spending such quality time with my kids and my grandkids and friends I'm here with you know one of my best friends and her daughter and and some other people and it's been just really cool to look back at the last three months and I'm just like whoa, you know, sometimes like, you know, we're going through life and there's so many things that we want to do. And what we do is we put them off because it may be too hard. We don't want to start this or start that. Or, you know, we look at the whole picture and I've learned, you know, from my experiences over the last three months that like, basically, you know, you have it in your mind and you have it down. Like, it's almost like, you know, when you have the flight booked or you have this, you know, plan in your head it's really hard to not do it when it's there it's kind of like I have to do it and so it's just like anything else like in your life you know where if you are thinking about you know doing something and it's just you're stalled because you're just like I just don't know well it's just one of those things where you just do it you know and that's one of the thoughts I wanted to share with you. Man, my eyebrows are really itchy today. I don't know why. I've been out in the sun <laughs> all day today in town and everything. It's been beautiful here in Mexico. And the other th thing I wanted to, you know, reach out to you about is, you know, I've been thinking a lot about how the world is and how, you know, just a lot of people are going through so many things, you know, each of us, I know who we're on here and the whole world, like each of us has something that's going on. I don't know if it's your physical something or your spiritual life or relationships or something that's going on. And, you know, I've really been like really trying to pay attention more and just reach out more. Just, I mean, I'll give you an example. I was on the beach and one of the vendors came to, you know, show us the jewelry and things like that and they were just you know going up and down the beach and they're so hot and you know we're over here at this all-inclusive resort and we get bottles of water for free and everything that we want for free 
And I gave them a bottle of water and, you know, they're just so grateful. And I was thinking, how much did that cost me? Well, for one thing, it's included, but I'm just saying there's things that we can do on a daily basis, you know, as we are aware of people around us, like at the grocery store, if you see somebody who's having a hard time pushing a cart or maybe an old lady that's trying to, and I'm reaching the old lady stage <laughs> soon, like putting their water in the trunk, you know, if we are aware of those around us and the situations that are around us. And we, we spend our days like, you know, maybe at the beginning of the day, we can ask, you know, for those of you who believe in prayer, like basically asking and saying, you know, there are people who probably need me and need me to help them in some way. And it could be as, you know, much as, or easy or small or big as um, answering a phone call, you know, when a friend calls or whatever. But, you know, even just like here at this resort, you know, we've been talking about like tipping and we've been talking a lot about, you know, how we can help other people. For example, in a restaurant, if you tip $5 and, you know, you give that extra $2 and it's like $7, like for you, that extra two may not mean as much like in giving it, but to the person that you're giving it to, it means the world. It's just like that little extra just made their day. And... Like I say, you know, I've just really been thinking about that in this world today. You know, there's just so much going on in the world, you know, like a lot of um, things that are kind of scary for some of us, a lot of things that are, um, you know, uncertain and everything, but there are some things that we can still do on a daily basis. And I've been really trying to become more aware of that, you know, and it just, it just helps me to feel better and helps you um, to, you know, look for those around you who could use, you know, your help, who can use your loving words, who can use the things that, you, you know, whatever it is that you're going to do. So anyway, you know, I've had like, like I say, so many experiences like that happening to me, you know, whether it's someone who's helping me and then you're passing it on. So imagine if every single day that you were doing that and you were finding some way to make someone else's day brighter. And you may be that person, you know, that they needed, you know, to, to, to talk to, to, to have someone to listen. Maybe it was the extra $2 that you gave in a tip or, or whatever, you know, it, it is that help someone else in the world have a better day because of you. You know, how would that make you feel? And how would that be if all of us took us, you know, upon us that, you know? So anyway... It is almost 10 o'clock here, and guess what I'm doing? I think that there's a disco at 11 o'clock here. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I love dancing, and, and, you know, that's the other thing. And the last thing I'll leave with you with here is that there are so many things that um, we enjoy doing, and we just don't do them. And why? You know, ask yourself why. Why am I not doing those things that I'm saying that I want to do? Whether it's to travel or whether it's to buy that outfit or, you know, or, or whether it's to eat that piece of chocolate because, you know, we just don't want to. But there's so many things like on a daily basis that, like I say, you know, my experiences over the last several years and especially over the last several months of being an empty nester. And it's like, you know, there are many things that we hold back on because we are scared to, like I say, take that leap of faith to go on that trip, you know, to buy the new thing that you want to do, you know? And, you know, the other day, I, I'll i give you this example. Like, there, were, I was at a wedding, <laughs> and I just did not have time to pack, and I did not have a dress, and I went, up, I went up to Utah, and I, you know, went to several stores, and then the last store that I went to, I found a dress. And, you know, the normal size that I wear, I was like, okay, I like this size, but, you know, it's like, the next size would probably be more comfortable. <laughs> and I did. And in my normal self, I'd be like, you know, I have to, you know, very, very have to be in this size or whatever. But you have to realize, you know, like, it's okay, you know, like if if I'm gonna wear this, you know, pair of jeans that I want to been I want to wear be, and it's, you know, not exactly the way it is. We just need to kind of like, I guess the word I'm thinking of is just need to let up a little bit, you know, and love ourselves ourselves more than than we do because we're we're our own critic right we, we we say things to ourselves like we may not be good enough or we can't fit fit in this or we don't want to buy this or whatever and you know honestly you know it's just I, like i say i need a real really i really want to write a book to share all the lessons i've learned and you know raising all my eight kids and you know now the grandkids in my life and coming into play and stuff and it's just kind of like 
you know, it's like, um, just do it, you know, go live your life and go, go do the things that you want to do. And so, um, yeah, Mary, that's right. So it's so interesting. So, so interesting. And how, you know, it just kind of changes your whole, your whole being as far as like, you know, what you want to do and everything, you know? And like I say, the last three months have been a whirlwind of traveling and has been so crazy. But as I look back, it's like, there's so many lessons learned, you know, by being in California with my son, like he was telling me, um, that he goes, wow, mom, you know, this has been awesome. You've been up here for a whole month helping with, you know, the little grand boys. And he said, you know, this was like, um, so special because we were able to spend this one-on-one -on -one time. Right. And what, what, what was happening? I was flying back you know, every weekend going back and forth from Texas to California. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to be here for the whole month. I'm just going to go rent an Airbnb on the beach and I'm just going to be here for a whole month. And I look back at that month and, you know, yeah, you know, it was kind of hard to be away from home and all the things, you know, they did. But guess what? When I came home, everything was still there. Right. And so I was able to spend time with that one son. And so I've been trying to do that more, you know, like and that's super hard when you have eight kids and you're like trying to spend that one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with each of them and each of your grandkids. Like today is one of my, it's Peter's birthday. I'm waiting to give him a call. Today he's nine years old. And you know, those things that are so important and, and so like relationships, you know, like whenever I went to California, it was really cool because my son said, this has been such a cool thing because we're able to spend one-on-one -on -one together, which is like I say, really hard, you know, to do. And so that's so cool, right? To think about it. But when you make an effort and maybe, maybe yours is something totally different, you know, maybe yours is not even kids. Maybe it's uh, something that you've been working on. Maybe it's like starting your new business or starting that new idea. Like I have another son and you know, he's starting up a new thing called poker app. Po I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's called poker, poker athlete. And it's a, it's this app where he's creating where you can play poker on, on the app together. And, you know, I'm just watching, watching him um grow this business on his own with you know his girlfriend and it's so cool you know to see him just like take it and just like you know go go from step to step and i don't know again it just makes me think about you know the steps that we have to take where we're scared to do something you know and it's just taking that leap of faith taking that first step so that we can go to the next step into the next step into the next step and so, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, like, boy, this, this video has been about a lot of topics because I haven't been on here with you for a while, but it's just things that I've been kind of wanting to share with you that I've learned, you know, over the last three months, you know, by being kind, being kind to a lot of other people, to everybody, to ourselves, to those around us. And, you know, to be um, less critical of ourselves, you know, we, we are, we are great people, our, we, you know, our own our own self, you know, to tell ourselves every day, you know, like how wonderful we are. And thirdly, you know, we're, we talk about like just spending those moments and spending like, you know, whether it's your family or like I say, who, who is it that you are wanting to spend more time with and to really make a conscious effort, you know, to say, okay, you know, today, even if it's just like a phone call or a letter or a, um, you know, like a, a short ice cream date or whatever it is. It's just so, so cool, you know, to be able to do that. So um, let me see here. I think that Candace wanted to come on camera before I let you go. Um, I'm going to see if you are still there, Candace. It said that she wanted to be on camera for whatever reason. So I thought I would give you that opportunity. Um, okay not there anymore. So that's okay. Well, I hope you guys are um, having a great evening wherever you are in the world today. I would love to know as you come on, I love to, you know, see where you're, where you're from. And if you have any ideas on anything that we've talked about, that would be cool. And, you know, whether it's on, on some of the topics that, that we talked about and guess what? I really am getting back to my podcast. <laughs> I'm actually, I actually joined, this is the last thing I'll share with you. I actually joined a podcast mastermind uh, with, you know, basically every week there's a call and it's for the whole year, 52 weeks. And it's awesome. And it's just motivating to me to really start, you know, sharing my message with you again. And for those who don't know, I have a podcast 
It's called Joy Reveals. And, you know, it's on the Spotify app now. It's on several different apps, but on the iTunes app. And if you have an Android phone, it's on the Stitcher app. So I think there's about 50, 51 episodes or so. And um, like I say, I, I brought my microphone here in Mexico. I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, um, record stuff while I'm here on vacation stuff, but I do want to get back to it. Do want to start sharing that with you. Wisconsin. Wow, Marianne. How is the weather in Wisconsin? <laughs> it is hot in San Antonio. I'm in Mexico right now, and it's actually um, supposed to be raining soon, but it's been super nice weather. Well, we've talked about a lot of things. Those who are just coming on, I hope you can just, you know, go back and review and share your ideas. I always love to see, you know, where you're coming from and share ideas about what we're talking about. Excited to be on here again with you. I know it's been some time. I've had many of you ask, you, hey, what are you up to? You seem so busy. And but but you know i'm just like i'm busy like doing really what i'm loving you know that's the good thing and you know it's always been kind of my slogan you know to to um do do what you love and, and do it often and i know that's hard to do you know sometimes like in like in today's world like i say so anyway um yeah hot and rainy yeah that sounds about right well you guys have an amazing evening i hope that i can make it till the next 40 minutes to go try and do some dancing if not i'm gonna just do some reading and head to bed but anyway uh thanks for listening those who listen and those who are going to be coming on the replay feel free to you know hashtag replay and and um share some of your thoughts and stuff so all right you guys take care it's good to see you again on here and i will talk to you soon bye